Let's take a look at finding the confidence interval about the difference of means uh, with matched pair data on a TI Inspire calculator. Specifically, the problem we're going to look at is this one here. Given reaction time to red and reaction time to blue, create a 99% confidence interval about the population mean difference between red and blue. Now, notice red is first here, which means that's going to go my first column. And blue is second, so blue will go my second column. The uh, order here is very important. If that had said population mean difference between blue and red, then blue would be in our first column and red would be in our second column. So be sure you read that closely. It may or may not match the order that's uh, given in the table. Okay, so let's put our red values in our first column. Now you want to be back here at your main, um, main menu. If not, you can click your home button here. And um, I believe this is a touch screen. I got one of these, but it's not powered up. This is just the emulator. But if not, you can do your down arrow to go down to this row. And we'll come over to List and Spreadsheet. And then I'll press Enter. Okay, in our first uh, column here, like I said, we're going to put our red values. So 0 0.425, 0 0.511, 0 0.712, 0 0.651, 0.499 and 0.505 okay then I'm gonna do my up arrow go over to B1 and I'll put in my my blue values so I put in these so I got 0 0.404 0 0.622 0 0.605 0 0.719 0.813 and 0 0.350. And I'll do my up arrow, go up here, and I want to go over to C. And specifically, I'm in this row that has an equals on it. That's where we're going to put a formula. And I want to do A minus B. So I simply do the equals wherever it's at. Uh, there it is. Equals. And then I do A minus B. Now it'll be smart enough to know when I put A and B in there that I'm referring to column A and column B. Now let's see what happens after we press enter. See how it changes it. It puts the brackets on there to specifically indicate that we're dealing with those columns. Now I suppose if you had variables uh, actually defined that had for A and B that weren't columns, maybe it might get confused and you'd have to put those brackets on. Um, but for me, at least, I default to that. I'm definitely not an expert on TI Inspire. I uh, use a T84, T83 a lot in the classroom. Okay, so we now have that in C. Now I'm going to push my menu. And then I'm going to down arrow to statistics, or you can simply just press the 4 that's in front of it. And then we want to go in confidence interval. Uh, let's try this again. Do escape, get out of that, escape, get out of that. Okay. Go to statistics. Um, I'll right arrow over. And then I'm going to go to confidence intervals. So I down arrow to that and right arrow over. Or you can simply press the 3 that's in front of it again. And the one we want to go into is T interval. When you use match pair data, T interval is the function you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter on that. It'll come up and ask us for the data input method. And... Um, Data is fine, but actually, let me show you the other one. If you do, uh, yeah, let me try it again. Um, right arrow. <laughs> um, I'm used to clicking on the screen. See how it says data and stats? Stats is when you're given summary statistics. Data is when you're given raw data. Well, we, we got raw data, and we specifically put our differences in column C. So anyway, I want data. And then I can just press enter, or you can down arrow and highlight OK and press Enter. Now it'll come up and ask us for our list. And you see there's C there. You can also do a, uh, I guess just, uh, we do escape. OK, there's no other choices here. But if there was any choices, then um, if you use your right arrow key, it should bring those up. And, but the one we want is, is C. 
frequency list is uh, one, and that's fine. That's what we always want. And uh, sea level. We said we wanted a 99% confidence level interval, so we're going to put in 0 0.99. So I'll press delete to get rid of that, and I'll put in 0 0.99, and then press enter. And um, I didn't really show what I did there, but I took the default, so I put, put it in the next available column. You see it says title. Let me see if I can scroll over here. Title T interval. Uh, here's C lower. Here's C upper. Gives you X bar, margin of error, um, degree of freedom. Um, I'm assuming sample scan deviation of the differences, but I'm not sure what that colon equals is. In, so it gives you a lot of information. The information we're specifically interested in is this C lower and C upper. And um, you see it says the two decimal places would be negative 0.31, and the C upper would be 0 0.24. That's our confidence uh, interval. And if I come over here, uh, negative 0.31 and 0.24. Now to get out of this, not quite sure how to do this um, with the keystrokes, but if you have a touch screen, all you have to do is click this X up here, and it'll say, do you want to save it? And you say no. And that's how you get the uh, confidence interval for match pair data um, for the mean on a TI Inspire.